Beekeepers, are you ready for winter? Well, it's November 7th, um, Eastern Daylight Time now. We, the way they talk on, on the TV, weather reports and stuff, they, they say we're losing an hour of daylight. We don't lose an hour of daylight, it just shifted earlier. So, it's going to get darker in the evenings quicker, but you get that time earlier in the morning and I always get up early for you people don't get out of bed till nine o'clock yeah you use an, you lose an hour of daylight so anyway I've been gradually shifting these bees to face the south and my only flaw with my my property is these spruce trees every year they get a little taller and it, it drives me nuts to have these bees here in the shade until Jan, end of January well anyway I'm shifting this one row back. I got one more to get up on there. I want 10 in each row. Then these are going to go in the center. And this is what drives me nuts. When I had a few colonies, I used to be able to go around and pick up bees and put them in smaller colonies. But I don't have time for that. In Michigan, we have lake effect. On days, the sun will come out for 10, 15 minutes. And it'll be warm and then the bees will come out and then it'll get cloudy for a while and it gets cold and they don't make it back into the hive but today it's sunny for a long time but i still getting bees coming out that aren't making it back into the hive and that yes that does hurt the size of your colonies and it will make your colonies become smaller during the winter and they may not be large enough to get through through winter so here's the window colonies i've just completed giving all my colonies sugar today they have sugar in this shim, and this is how I, I keep from losing a lot of colonies during the winter. I keep an eye on them with this LED flashlight. I look in here. Every morning, I go around and I check all my colonies. I try to every morning, and I look, see how big they are. And sometimes if you catch them when they're chilled, when they're cold, you can bring them inside. Of course, these are already inside, but I'm talking about the ones that are outside. If you catch them when they're chilled and you bring them in and warm them up, you can save that colony. That's why I had a 1% winter loss last winter. I lost the colony right here. I didn't have this room warm enough at the time because I had colonies in here on the floor. I didn't want them getting too warm. And the windows get colder and that colony got cold and I didn't check every day like I should have and they got chilled. So let me go over here. Oh, this is uh, what I use to feed syrup, chick, chick drinkers. And another thing I do during the winter that's very, very important. You want to clean out the dead bees at the bottom of your hive. And I'm going to pick on the dot. They have a bottom board that's three-quarter or three-eighths. And they, and they claim... During the winter, you want to use the three eighths. No, you don't. You don't want to use the three eighths during the winter. It makes it really difficult when the bees pile up in there, in between the frames. It makes it difficult to get them out. Keep the three quarter. It does not that does not make that much of a difference in keeping them warm. Three quarter is easier. You take a piece of wood or a piece of metal and you scrape the bees out. And because it's up against the wall here, I also clean out. This is the bottom screen. I also clean out the actual bottom board because I can't reach the other side. So anyway, keep your bees cleaned out at least once a month. It's not healthy for them to, uh, I love killing wasp. Every time I get a chance to kill a wasp or a yellow jacket, I kill it. You wanna keep the dead bees cleaned out because think about it, that's what bees do naturally. They remove the dead, it's not healthy for them. If there's a lot of dead bees in the hive, there's a good chance a disease or virus or whatever is gonna spread. So, I don't know if you get to uh, the point of this right here. This if you can see all these bees, but there's nothing but bees right here. And I just got those yesterday, put sugar in the top row. And I have a few colonies I'm gonna carry in when it's really cold. They were up in the medium. And because of the cluster size, if we had 20s or teens or somewhere around that range, I'm sure they would be chilled. They could probably handle anything above 32. I'll keep an eye on them, and if they get smaller and smaller, well, they may stay inside and come out when it's 50 and bees are doing a cleansing flight. Uh, 
Look, can you see all the bees? <laughs> My vehicles are sitting outside because I'm going to wash them. But if they were clean, I would not leave them outside because they would be covered with bee poop. And here are the last ones that I started feeding syrup. I have too many colonies to feed syrup to at the same time. So the, I started with 25%, worked my way up, adding another 25%, and gradually bees got, the hives got full, and I was able to move up to do more. So these right here just got syrup probably a week ago, and they're still taking syrup. So we have another three or four days of this warmer weather. I just gave them syrup just a few minutes ago. Three or four more days of warmer weather, then we're gonna get cold. And I'm assuming winter's gonna start. This is a colony that's had a hard time back in September. They were completely covered with robbers. They were getting in there and they were overrunning the colony here at this entrance. And they were dead bees in the bottom of the hive. So all I could do was I just plugged it up and waited till evening. And I started making the hive smaller and I went through and I checked every little teeny gap that bees could get in. I, uh, I plugged with a piece of wood. So and when you're feeding syrup, that really draws the robbers. But if the colony doesn't have enough honey and you don't have enough honey to give them. Yeah, I may, probably made about $10,000 worth of uh, honey during the summer, but... I created 120 colonies and I gave each colony three to, three to five frames, depending on the size of the colony, of honey from the larger colonies. I did not sell any honey. I was just estimating if I were to sell the honey all my bees made throughout the summer, I'm just estimating it would be $10,000. So I have a total of 155 colonies right now. I probably lost 10 during the month of September, early October from robbing and using acylic acid. And maybe eight or somewhere around that range. So. Because I, when I got rid of the mating nukes, I had 170, and I've lost some older queens since then. So I'm down to 155 right now. I've lost 15 from the August when I got done doing mating nukes. So anyway, hope we make it through winter and meet you on the other side. I'm not going to have time, do I? Even if you want to see indoor hive inspections during winter, go back and look at my older videos. I'm not going to be doing any videos like that this winter. If I have, find something really important I want to share with my subscribers, I'll share it. But other than that, I have twice as many colonies now as I had last year at this time. So I'm going to be twice as busy. Making a video doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't cost any money. I don't like people to ask for donations for, for, for them to help make videos. It doesn't cost any money to make a video. It doesn't cost any money to put the video on YouTube. It's just the whole point of right now, I'm spending time doing this, and then I've got to upload it onto YouTube, and I spend time doing that. So anyway, meet you on the other side. Hope you have a good winter. Bye.